Okay guys, so we've finished The Boy Who Biked the World Part 1. Now, here is a little sneak preview of The Boy Who Biked the World Part 2. This is called Riding the Americas. This chapter is called Patagonia, Land of Big-Footed Giants. Alaska, 17,848 kilometres. Tom looked up at the signpost and sighed. Alaska was his final destination and 17,848 kilometres sounded a very long way to cycle. It was a very long way, more than 11,000 miles, more than a third of the way round the globe. It had been a thrilling moment when after weeks at sea, Sailor Sam shouted, Land ahoy! Everyone on the boat had turned to look. The first sighting of land is always exciting for sailors. Hills, trees, other people, they had made it safely across the Atlantic Ocean. Tom had waved goodbye to the crew and grizzled old Captain Horrocks, then climbed onto his trusty bicycle. It was time to ride. But when you spend weeks at sea, your legs get a bit wobbly. It takes a while before you can walk normally on dry land. It's even harder to cycle. So Tom weaved and wobbled as he pedalled away from his friends on the boat. Now, looking up at the signpost, the thrill of being on the land was fading. There was just so much land. Tom's plan was to ride from the bottom of South America all the way up to North America and eventually to Alaska, further than he had ever cycled before. His legs felt tired just thinking about it. Surely a normal boy couldn't cycle that far. Tom wasn't a superhero, he wasn't really strong, he was just a boy. The signpost was on Tierra del Fuego in Patagonia, Spanish for land of fire. It got the name because the first European explorer to arrive here saw from his ship the campfires of the Yagan people who lived here. The explorer's name was Ferdinand Magellan. He believed that the native people who could survive in this wild land at the very bottom of the world must be giants, at least twice as big as normal humans. The name Patagonia means Bigfoot. This was, Magellan imagined nervously, a land of giants with huge feet. Patagonia, the land of big-footed giants, the land of fire, this was going to be some adventure. Like Magellan, Tom felt very nervous himself. Patagonia is the land right at the bottom of South America. It spans two countries, Argentina and Chile. But the borders between the countries were invented long after the mountain ranges and mountain tracks appeared. So for the next few thousand miles of his 17,848 kilometre journey, Tom would be zigzagging in and out of both Argentina and Chile. He sat by the sea and ate a banana sandwich, thinking about the distance that lay ahead. Booming waves burst upon the pebble beach. The strong wind tugged at his clothes and messed up his already messy hair. An albatross, the bird known as the king of the oceans because of its three metre wingspan, circled effortlessly overhead, gliding through the wild wind. Tom gazed out to sea. The cold grey green water seemed to stretch southwards forever, forever, forever. There were no cities or trees or flowers across that ocean. Across the ocean lay only Antarctica and the South Pole. Tom could see why this trip of South America was described as the end of the world. El fin de mundo. He looked up at the albatross. Albatrosses can fly the whole way around the world. The fastest one took just 46 days to do it. Much, much less time than it was going to take Tom on his bicycle. Tom called up to the albatross. Good morning, Mr. Albatross. Mr. Albert Ross, please can I call you Albert? He felt a bit silly to talking to a bird, but there wasn't another person for miles and miles and miles, so he kept talking. Albert, Tom continued, I'm on a journey around the world, just like you. I'm going to be the boy who biked the world. I need to cycle to Alaska, and I'm really nervous. It's so far, I don't think I can do it. Albert swooped down a little closer. I'll be okay, won't I? Tom probably imagined it, but he was sure that the great bird winked at him and wagged his wings as if to say, you'll be fine, young man. Just get started. That is always the hardest part. Begin. Go. Go now and you'll find yourself a fabulous adventure.